another exciting year for Sycamore basketball. You guys ready to go with a lot of new faces. Just talk about your squad. Yeah, it is an exciting time. Uh, obviously, uh, the past couple of years, we've had more returners than, than what we do this year and guys with experience. Uh, we have five guys that played some for us, but really Jake and RJ some uh, have extended minutes. So it's uh, we're going to have to fight the, the inexperienced bug quite a bit. And, and guys are coming along. They're working awfully hard. They're a good group. We had a lot of work in this summer. Uh, but it's a little different, ready to, a little different, getting ready to go to the Bahamas trip than it is getting ready to uh, go to UCLA to play them. How important was that Bahamas trip uh, for this season with with so many young guys on this team? Oh, it was invaluable. And the other thing, Ross, was uh, the NCAA finally allowed us to work with our guys in the summer. So we got two hours a week with the guys, uh, even without this trip, and then we got the 10 days of practice. So it was so important for all our new guys to get in here, and, and a Christian who had to sit out last year, and a, and a Manny who, who uh, had to sit out last year, and our redshirt guys. So uh, a lot of, uh, of playing experience with the four seniors being gone, four starters being gone. So everybody's trying to find their way and, and uh, compete for, for playing minutes and, and roles on our team. Those seniors leave, uh, one starter back, obviously Jake Odom. He's been the face of this team since he kind of burst on as a freshman, but now with no seniors on this roster, this is his team undisputedly. Yeah, and he's got to be, he does have to do that. He's got to be a leader and, and the, the negative emotion and, and those things that uh, maybe he leak into his uh, personality probably got to change a little bit this year because these guys are all new. They haven't been on the floor with him uh, like they're going to be this year. Uh, there's going to be some impact players that he hasn't played much with. So those those guys are continuing to develop uh, their on-the-court uh, personality, their on-court relationships, our on-court chemistry, and then Jake's certainly going to be the leader on that. And, and you know, I, I heard Coach Waltman say a long time ago is the, the, uh, the team's going to take on the, either the characteristics of, of the leader, the best player, or they're going to take on the characteristics of the coach. Now, I'm going to help him with that stuff, and, and I think I, I know what I'm doing as far as with uh, helping lead a team, but I'm not on the floor with him, so it's going to have to be Jake. Mike went down with his foot injury this year. If you just look at the roster, it seems to be a little thin at the front court. Uh, are you seeing some of these guys, that, a lot of athletic wings, are they going to kind of flex up and play a little, little bit more on the front line? Or? I think with our bigger perimeter guys, with Manny and Christian, that, that they can flip-flop, and Brandon, they can, they can be fours if they have to. Uh, yeah, we've been practicing without Mike, who, who, you know, who knows what's going to happen with him this year, and, and probably pretty doubtful for the season. And then uh, today will be... Um, RJ's second practice, so he's missed 12 practices after getting a concussion to start it. So we've been very thin on the interior, but now RJ's coming back and, and Rhett's getting uh, better every day and TJ's getting better every day, so there's more uh, competition there. It, in our interior defense is, is kind of a concern for the staff. We're going to have to find different ways to, to defend people in there, but uh, we're, we're, we're working on a lot of different things. And Jake Kitchell's just had his, a tremendous offseason. He, he's a hard worker. He's a, a tremendous team guy. Um, he's going to be a very productive player for us at both ends of the floor. What kind, of, what kind of a load do you expect Kitchell to carry? I mean, he's the one true center left on this roster without Mike. You know, it's too bad for him. Uh, you know, he's not even a true center, really. He's more of a four-man himself. So you have him, and then you lose 6'11", 285 uh, pounds, and Mike there that was going to play 15 to 25 minutes a game. And he and Kitch would have been a tremendous uh, one-two punch at that position. But now it's uh, Kitch. Uh, we got we got to have him on the floor. He's going to have to defend without fouling and, and keep himself healthy. Uh, knock on wood when I say that, and because he's been tweaked up a little bit, but uh, and you know, and then R.J. and Justin, and then those guys are going to have to fight too. You know, it's we're going to have to do it by committee, um, and we're going to find a way. The two freshmen, uh, T.J. and Rhett, uh, getting more reps now with, like you said, R.J. and Mike out in practice. What do you can they step in and give you some good minutes this season? Well, that remains to be seen. You know, it remains to be seen. They're going to have to outplay guys uh, to to earn those the, the, earn those minutes. We're not just going to give them minutes. Um, I think Rhett uh, physically uh, is ready. You know, there's no question he's one of the stronger guys lifting weights that we have. Uh, wasn't in tremendous shape when he got here this summer. We had to work around that a little bit. And he and TJ both are, are finding out just how hard college practices are every day and how hard you compete and how demanding your schedule is with classes and workouts and study tables and still trying to get rested up and do all those things. So their head was spinning for a while, but uh, day by day they've gotten better.